Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time, we finally made our way through the Society of Leopold, after waking up in 1999, and met with Sir Leo Atalius? Atalus? I forgot his last name. Doesn't matter. He's dead. Uh, he's the guy that basically was rummaging around through the Viserot Castle, well, what remains of it. Um, to basically gain power of uh, the uh, Simitsi Vuklovald. V Vuklovald? I've forgotten the name already. I'm that good of a player. Um, but he found us, a dormant vampire, sleeping, and he was going to basically pump us full of blood and drink it so he can be strong and kill all the other vampires and basically become powerful himself without being a vampire. C'est la vie. He's dead now, as I said, and we ended up in the streets of London uh, last we last we left. So I'm going to stand thy ground. I don't think it makes a difference because I don't have a party, but I'm going to take a defensive stance regardless. So this is our current map. West London. Uh, so this is where we are now. We're basically going down this way. Um, yeah. Let's see. What's going on? Uh, dreary London. Of course it's raining. I've actually always wanted to go to England. Never my had. My garments have moldered away with age, as my body would have, were I not one of the damned. I cannot wander the streets clad thus. I have need of suitable garments. Boy, you need a lot more than some new clothes, you freak. You need to hand over your wallet. I know not thy language, but thy intent is clear from the mask that obscures thy eyes. Thou art a common cut purse. What? What's this about a purse? Shut up and give me your money. Ooh, where's a mask like that? I shall like give that? thee my blade instead. Yeah! Are you crazy? Feed on him. Oh, uh, please don't hurt me. Uh, take my gym bag, please. You, you need clothes, right? I got clothes, so you take them. Just don't hurt me. I thank thee for this gift. Go forth and steal no more. Uh, right. Okay, I'm gone. I mean, we literally just left a whole house, a whole mansion, a whole manor uh, with clothes, although. Hey, 90s Kristoff isn't looking too bad. Let's let's take a look under the light here. Hey, he's got the jeans and the... What is that, a v-neck? Yeah, it looks like a v-neck. And he's got the ponytail. Alright. 90s Kristoff cleans up pretty well. Uh, maybe don't walk around with the sword brandished out, but... Hey, what do I know? Pedestrian. Uh, it does not say where we are. What I would really love is some kind of a pawn shop. What the fuck's a bobby? Is that a constable? Never heard of the term bobby before. Bro, you look like fucking uh, Hardy. Or like Laurel and Hardy, like the fat dude with the mustache. Oliver Hardy, that was his name. Okay, you guard that door. Or... What door? That wall. Yeah, I've never heard the term Bobby before for a police officer. <sighs> Club Tenebrae. Let's, let's go and club Tenebrae. Goth girl. Club dancer. Yo, sick moves, bro. Funnily enough, that's pretty close to how I dance. Pink. Bar 
bottoms up. Ah. Eh. Blood's a bit diluted here, eh? What, you fresh out of the grave? Newly embraced? You look it, with that deer in the headlights look pasted on your gob. Do not presume to mock me, whelp. I am far older than thou knowest, and have no patience for the likes of thee. Well, well, well. Oi! Barkeep! Get this antique blood sucker a swig of vitae, courtesy of Pink of Clan Brugia. Don't water it down, you mortal worm. This'll put some colour back in your cheeks. Air of the bat that bit you. <laughs> thou art Brugia? Art thou a Promethean? <laughs> you must be a fossil! The Prometheans are ancient history. Those nutters are long dead, along with their utopian ideals. <laughs> what a load of bat shit that was! What's your name, you crusty old relic? Forgive me, I am Christoph Romuald. Oh, Christoph Romuald. Christoph Romuald, once of the Order of the Sword Brethren, once a Promethean Brugia, and now, now I know not what. Weary, alone, and damned. Damned, I can't help. But no one is alone with old Pink around. Especially not a fellow Brugia. Here's to Christoph, the last of the Prometheans. Welcome to the new world, Squire. Hope you like what we've done with the place. So, where will you be creating your Promethean paradise on Earth, Squire? All I wanted was to be with my Ineska. <laughs> a bit of crumpet, eh? I've heard of worse paradises, no mistake. But Feranesco was taken as ghoul by that Zemitsi monster Vukudlak. After such horrors as I have endured, after losing so much, I awake to find I have finally lost all. For I have lost her. Yeah, not so fast, Squire. There's two ways your bird might be around. Ghouls can live as long as us legs. Of course, you need a constant supply of Zemitsi blood, or she'll fall apart faster than Thatcher's reforms. And if one of them fiends embraced her, she'd be around today as one of us. Well, as a Zemitsi. Thou dost compound my misery. I dare not hope such a thing. T'would be a curse if Farinesca lived in such a state for a thousand years. Take it from old Pink. Anything's better than the quiet of the grave. There's hope even for us licks. We can climb the path to the summit. Or, or some such. Thou art on the road of humanitas? Um, something like that. Thou speakest true. Should Ineska have been preserved for lo these many centuries, I shall seek after her. Whether she is ghoul to that monster, Vukudlak, or one of his vampires, I shall find her. Find her and destroy him. He will pay in angry blood. And if I find only her grave, I shall... I shall be exceedingly glad for her soul. Rare thing, such passion in licks. Bloodless pack of cowards these days. Tell you what, I'll help you find this bird, Aneska. I hate the Zumitsis too. I could enjoy sinking me fangs into a fiend or two. Um, okay, so pink hair is the kind of Brugia that I'm more familiar with. Um, you know, the kind of brutish guy, brutish guys, uh, you know, with like mohawks and like, uh, you know, like the white, uh, like the, the, not the white beaters, I, I should stop calling them white beaters, like the undershirts, uh, tank tops, um, and, you know, piercings everywhere, camo, pants, that kind of shit. That's what I'm more used to. Um, Lord Pink, uh, thou art honorable, I can accept I kindly offer, or I need no one. You know, as much as I would love to, again, keep on going alone, why not? My Lord Pink, thou art honorable, I accept thy kindly offer. 
You need me to tell you what's what. The Camarilla have a million little rules. Wipe yourself with the wrong hand, and these licks will call down the Justicars on you. What? Nothing. Just a joke. Thou art unlike the vampires of my world, for most only assisted me for their personal gain. <laughs> well, what's left of us, Bruja, gotta stick together. Even if you are a moldy old fossil. So, where did you last see this bird of yours? I last beheld Anezka before the collapse of the Zemitsi stronghold in Prague. I have since learned that the Zemitsi have traveled from thence to London, and by sea to a land west of London called New York. Perhaps this New York lies within Ireland. <laughs> no. No. Ever since the famine, Ireland lies within New York. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. There are isles west of Ireland? <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. Little place called America. The United States thereof. United States. An auspicious name. For I wish my own state reunited. Oh, what? you're breaking my heart. Perhaps in New York shall we find a criminal named Giovanni. Giovanni? They ain't one guy. They're a whole clan. A whole clan of criminals. They snacked on old Cappadocius and sucked down all his juice. The entire Cappadocian clan is gone. And the Giovanni have their power. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The Cappadocian clan seemed oddly gullible and ripe for domination by schemers even in my day. What became of the Brugia? <laughs> what hasn't? Jesus. The Brugia are all kissed and made up with the Ventru now. Yeah. In one big happy family called the Camarilla. The Toreador, the Gangrel, the Nosferatu, the Looney Malkavians, even the Tremere bosom buddies. Out of fear of Gehenna, mostly. Our real enemy is the Sabbat. Made up of the Sumitsi, the Lasambra, and a pack of the most vicious licks in the world. I don't care for the snobs of the Camarilla any more than the next lick, but I don't want to dig my way out of a bloody grave. That's what the Sabbat do to you. Beat you to the brink of death, then bury you. When you start starving, you claw your way to the surface, the madness killing any bit of humanity in you. So I work with the Camarilla against the Sabbat. My past is dead, and I am no longer a pawn servicing the whims of the elders in their jihad. It ain't good to be alone out there. It helps to have a gang at your back. Especially if you want to find this Ineska. I can't help you find the Giovanni, but I can help you find out about any bootleg shipping. The filthy Setites run all the bootleg shipping in London. I know a Setite knocking shop on the East End. Now let's put the boot into some snakes, but watch yourself. The Setites are a real bad seed. Knocking shop? <laughs> I know you had them in your day, Chris. Even a geezer like you can't be older than the world's oldest profession. <laughs> now come on, we're gonna need some supplies. You can sell some of that old junk and get some real weapons. We require an armorer and an alchemist. And uh, something like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Stand by ground. Get away, you creep. What the fuck was that? We have a wide selection of Vitae for your dining pleasure. We have blue collar brews, white collar cocktails, and pink collar daiquiris. We've got young blood. Okay, anyways. Um... Okay, I have no idea what that was about. He just beat the shit out of that girl dancing. So, okay couple of things um for those of you um that have forgotten i kind of mentioned it in the beginning of the game um you know with, especially with like the camarilla and like the the clans and all that shit so this is more what i'm used to um i knew very little about like the prometheans and all that kind of shit because again i guess that was dark ages so the modern world yes there's the camarilla which is made up by Quite a number of clans, I believe nine clans, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
and the Camarilla basically work together um, to uphold the masquerade, uh, which is basically, you know, hiding the fact that there are vampires out there. And it's very much, very much political. Uh, like, there are territories set up. Like, just how there was the Prince of Prague, it, that kind of thing. But there's, it, it's more, there's more laws now. There's a lot more rules. Like, there's, usually, like, princes give you, like, uh, a couple of blocks radius where you can feed on your own. Like, you can't encroach in, on any other territory. Like, very, very, very strict rules. Um... The just the card that uh, that was mentioned. That's basically the sheriff. Um, it's the errand boy of the prince. Um, uh, if they want, if the prince wants someone killed, or if they want someone brought to them, the ju just card will get it done. They're 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 not to be fucked around with. Um, and the sabbat are basically the opposite end of the spectrum. They are the ones that do not give a fuck about the masquerade. They. They are basically the monster vampires you see in the movies. Um, I don't want to say they're mindless. They're not really mindless. Uh, they, they do have clans, kind of. Um, as you saw, like, the the Zemitsi, the, the La Sabra, all that. They don't really... There's no point of the clans, because they're all just basically the same thing. They, they practice, like, dark magic and that kind of shit. Um, and uh, yeah, with Camarilla, when it comes to Gehenna, as um, if you've been reading the comments in uh, one of my one of my videos, one of my friends uh, he made the comment that I was kind of mistaken on like the whole Gehenna thing. Gehenna is basically the Camarilla don't really be believe in Gehenna; they think of it as superstition, as kind of like. Um, Think, think kind of like how an atheist believes in like Christianity or like any kind of religion. You know, they just think it's superstition. Um, whether it's out of fear that it would actually happen or not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah. And actually, now that I think about it further, the Bruja generally aren't with a camera lit either. Um, I guess the Anarchs haven't come around yet. Uh, but the Anarchs will be made apparent in in uh, Bloodlines, which we'll be playing uh, at some point. Um, if the Anarchs aren't mentioned here, I'm not going to mention it now, just because I don't want to confuse all you guys, for those of you that don't know. Anarchs are base. To put it, like, very, very, very bluntly... Anarchs are basically against the Camarilla in the sense that there's too much, um, too many laws, lack of freedom. You know, if the Camarilla were Republicans, the Anarchs would basically be liberals. That's the best way I can really put it. They don't, they don't go as far as the Sabbat in terms of, like, wanting to destroy the whole concept of the Masquerade. The Anarchs do believe in the Masquerade. They just don't believe in the established government, basically. They're, they're anarchs. Uh, okay, so what is this? Find the source of the shipments. Infiltrate the Setite Haven, hidden in the theater in East London. All these horseless carriages and electric lights must be too much for your little medieval mind, eh, Chrissy? Are marvels indeed. I have witnessed the perverse experiments of the Tremere. Clay that walks like a man and spirits of the dead. Light and wagons have no power to enthrall me. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I have witnessed the perverse experiments of the Tremere. Clay that walks like a man and spirits of the dead. Lights and wagons have no power to enthrall me. Ah, shut up. Who asked you? You'll need me if you want to survive in this world. Uh, do you know of a pawn shop anywhere nearby? Okay. 
Okay there, buddy. Curio shop. Wow, this place is huge for a shop. Sumner Montague. Hail and well met, keeper of the curio shop. I am Christoph. Well, well, well. What have we here? Mm -hmm. More than you can handle. Oh. Thy shop displays items of great import. We would examine thy wares. Very well, then. Sumner Montague at your service. I am somewhat honored to receive such distinguished guests. Or maybe you're quaking in your slippers, you great poof. Do not test me, blood drinker. I don't think you're quite up to it. Oi! Come on, then! Peace. We mean thee no harm, Sumner Montague. Perhaps you need to keep your coterie on a tighter leash. Perhaps. Now let us see thy wares. Of course. My sanctum is at your disposal, for the time being. All right. So let's see how much this shit sells for a 680. Well, I can't even sell that. So how can I sell that, but not that? Well, regardless, I don't want... Oh, because he's... I see. Well, I mean, at least I can sell that. Make some space. What is a discipline? Oh, blood cost 60%. It's not too bad, actually. It's very expensive, though. Yeah, I'm sure if my manipulation was higher, I'd get more money. But, meh. I already have this, so 51. Only 51? I'll save it for one of my other guys. A pleasure serving you, Christoph. Good day. Do come back when you have more trinkets. Or more cash. I mean... Hello? Hello? Appearance 20. Appearance 10. Um... Good day. So my appearance is 100. Wow. I, I wonder if it can go higher than 100. Hello? Good day. Okay. Yeah, too bad he doesn't sell like tomes. Like what actual new selling disciplines. your antique locket? That'll bring a pretty penny. No, this is not for sale. Uh, okay. Guess I had an antique locket. Okay, I remember where I am now. So what's down this way? Underground to East London. So is that it? There was nothing else here? Like that's it. Oh. 
I should bring you up to date on the modern world, Christoph. Let's see. Against all odds, peddlers and money changers defeated the priests and the nobles, so now merchants rule the world. Peasants rule themselves by voting on who gets to be king in his court. And some people still believe the world was created in seven days, even though men have walked on the moon. I shall see to it thou joins them on the moon if thou does not cease thy foolery, or the Lord completed the world in six days. And that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. I mean, it's kind of funny that he's still clinging to his crusader days and mentality. But, hey. The Lord completed the world in six days. And that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. Unfortunately, not. Hey, lady. Wow, nothing but goth girls in England, eh? I guess it's accurate. Wait, where am I? Theater Brothel, East London. So this is a theater brothel? Guess we have to go back that way. All right. I would really like some kind of a pawn shop. Oof, I'm damned thirsty. I could go for a lick stick. Lick stick? A mortal. Feed in, you stupid get. We shall not take the lives of those we feed upon. Oh, bugger off. What do you care about the juice bags anyway? As long as we have greater power, we have an obligation to keep them under our protection. You're a fat lot of fun, aren't you? It is important. Okay, okay. No killing when I feed Christ. Wait, was that a... Can I actually go down here? I can. Oh, that just got loud. need to get you some real weapons. Those ancient artifacts ain't gonna do shit against licks with guns. You need to sell some junk. I bet that necklace would fetch a tidy sum. Never. Oh, terribly sorry, your lordship. Just trying to save your blood-sucking hide is all. Okay, relax, bro. Relax. What? What do you want? So that's not identified. Uh, so I got four thousand. So ten, fifteen, ten. And forty five ten. Light enhancing goggles increases visual senses. So, wait, a light ballistic vest does more than a flak jacket? Really? I mean, if you say so. Fragmentation grenade. Gloves. I need bashing. Mm. 
you know, I'm uh, I'm gonna stay with my sword. And I'm actually gonna buy the ballistic vest. Because these revolvers, yeah, they do bashing damage, so I want as much bashing protection as possible. Well, I guess that'll be the flak jacket. Yeah, you know what? Get the flak jacket. Compound bow. That's funny. What do you do? You got you got shotgun and pistol. Yeah, I don't know why I'm buying this guy so much, but, um... You can also get a Do I look jacket. like your pack mule? Get lost! Alright, let's head over to the underground. The Setite Brothels over by the docks in an abandoned theater. Come on! I plan to rack up a few setite skins before the night's over. What? What do you want? Lost. All right. So you can hold on to the shotgun. Um. Yeah, I get. I guess. Haven. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what pink stats are. He's eight. How was he eighth generation? He's a generation higher than us. That's kind of bullshit. That is actually kind of bullshit. He got some pretty decent stats. He's very well-rounded. More well-rounded than us. Which, again, makes sense. Considering he's 8th gen, but he's only got 40 humanity. Uh, and I think our blood pool... No, our blood pool's lower than his. Yeah. I really need to raise my wits. So, um... While his frenzy... Our frenzies are the same. Um... If you increase your wits, it means... The, um, the orange bar at the bottom that fills up, or at the bottom here when you, like, get hit, or, like, um, when you're, like, about to get frenzied, like, that 
the more you raise your wits, the more resistant you are to that. Oh my god, this fucking sound. Yeah. Right. I think we're good to go. Brace that tender art of yours, Chris. These damned Setite snakes ghoul the working girls and boys and sell them to mortals and kindred alike. Kindred pay to feed on the poor harlots, and the Setites feed on the mortal customers. Huh. The juice bags leave tired, but they never suspect a thing. Cozy as you please. The mistress of the place is a Setite called Lucretia. She sells some of their ghoul slaves to the Sabat in America and runs drugs and weapons through those cargo ships of yours. Maybe she's picking up some extra cash, moving mud for the fiends. Interesting. Come upstairs. I'll flush those white cheeks. Hey, boys. I've got what you want. Love, you don't even know what I want. Fresh blood. I'll take it back. I guess you do know after all. Come upstairs. I'll flush those white cheeks. Don't kill me! I'm not one of the Setites. I'm from Clan Toreador. Prove it. Who are cry, cry, cry? Uh, you mean the American band Cry Cry Cry? Aren't they that acoustic trio that even though they're all songwriters only does covers of songs by other groups and performs the most depressing- Enough! <laughs> She's a Tory, alright. Please protect me! I'll help you with whatever you need! So, Toreador are basically like the, uh, the artists, the, uh, the- I don't think hippies are the best way to say it. the bohemians like they're Come upstairs. I'll flush those yeah, white yeah, yeah. cheeks. They're the ones that are generally the most att attractive races um by uh, like naturally attractive. Um they're the ones that are like the highest appearance um and uh charisma. I trust no one. Perhaps you'll be a valuable ally. We offer protection even if you can do nothing to help us. Yeah, that one. We offer protection even if you can do nothing to Come help upstairs. us. Come upstairs. I'll flush those oh, thank white you. cheeks. Thank you for freeing me. I've been trapped in that damn brothel for nearly a year. I was kidnapped by a handsome Sedite who came to see me sing in a club. The snakes wanted you to give the mortals some bloody good fun, eh? Slip them a little taste of Cain's kiss, did ya? Most mortals love the delirium that comes from being a blood donor to a vampire. Especially the way I do it. Where is their leader? We have Come questions upstairs. about illegal shipping. I'll flush those that would up. Be Lucretia. She's horribly powerful. She lives in the temple of Set below the brothel. I can't truly be free of her blood bond until she's dead. If anyone knows about shipping, it's her. She knows everything the Setites know. Great. How do we get to her? In the storage area. There's a locked door behind a cheesy looking stage backdrop of the Valley of Kings. There must be some secret way to open the door, but I don't know what it is. <gasps> Stand thy ground! <gasps> Why does everyone automatically try to attack? So what's through this door? Oh, that leads downstairs. Alright, let's see here first. Um, you have got nothing. She's a neonate, so she's, she's Nora, she's like newly transformed, or, yeah, newly turned. Transformed isn't really the right word.
Okay. What is the point of this room? Nothing. Ooh. Too bad, it, too bad I can't talk to any of these guys. Go there though. Okay, I have no idea where to go. So maybe that first area was right. So I'm betting the secret entrance that Lily was talking about is here somewhere. for this episode um i'm kind of I'm, I'm gonna be honest i'm kind of missing my old crew uh wilhelm and serena although so far these guys have more personality like i'm right away more taken with pink i'm not a big fan of pink but i'm he's got more personality than wilhelm did um and lily even though we exchanged like six lines of dialogue Already, I connect more with her than I did with uh, Serena. That said, actually, I don't even know what what they what these guys can do. Well, she's new, so she's got nothing really. Yeah, he's a Bruja. He's got like he's got uh, Protean and uh, Celerity and all that. Yeah. I'm actually surprised he's got presence but yeah, blood healing and feed yeah not surprising anyways um we'll uh, we'll continue on in the next episode uh, going through the temple in the meantime thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care